So, you've created your ClassPad.net account and activated your emulator code. And now it's time to get down to using the emulator for a Casio FX8200 AU scientific calculator. This video will take you through the basics of getting started with the emulator, plus some extra features available on ClassPad.net. Depending on how you've previously used ClassPad.net, you may need to log into the website. From the home page, click on the ClassPad Math icon. The ClassPad Math Tools palette should be visible, and on it, the emulator icon should be illuminated. If it is not, it is probably because you haven't logged in or haven't activated a license code. If you log in and the emulator icon remains greyed out, click on the cube to go back to the home page and then reopen the ClassPad Math page. Clicking on the emulator icon for the first time, you'll be asked to select the required model, i.e. the FX8200AU. With that done, the emulator is up and ready to go. It can be used to perform calculations in exactly the same way as a handheld calculator. If you want to perform the calculation like this one in terms of degrees rather than radians, you might be tempted to click on the rad icon on the top right of the screen. Unfortunately, this does not change the setting within the emulator, as you can see from the R that remains on the display at the top of the emulator screen. That radian setting applies to angle calculations performed elsewhere in ClassPad.net. To change an emulator to degrees, this needs to be done using the emulator's own settings key. With the emulator running inside of the ClassPad.net window, it can be moved with a click drag and release to wherever you like. The emulator can also be resized by clicking on the blue section in the bottom right hand corner and dragging it to the size required. As well as resizing the emulator, we can resize the classpad.net window as you can with browser windows generally. This can be handy if we want to see the emulator alongside an online text or another program. Returning to full screen, another way to customise the appearance of the emulator is to use a pop-up screen. This is done by clicking on the left hand icon on the emulator tools palette. The pop-up screen can then be moved and resized in the same way the emulator is. When it is no longer required, click on the cross on the top right hand corner to delete it. The other icons on the emulator tools palette offer other useful functionality. The second icon that looks like a camera is for screenshots. Once a screenshot is taken, it can be modified. In particular, it can be resized, its border can be added or removed, and it can be copied so it can be pasted into other applications. The third icon in the Emulator Tools palette opens a key log. Once opened, each key pressed on the emulator is recorded in the key log. This can be handy when demonstrating a complex key sequence or if materials are being prepared that require keystrokes to be recorded. The keystrokes recorded can be copied and pasted into a range of applications, providing that the class weird key font has been installed.
The fourth icon in the Emulator Tools palette is perhaps the most interesting one. Curiously named Sticky Output, clicking on this icon causes a range of additional mathematical output to be generated by ClassPad.net. This output varies depending on the mathematical processes being performed on the emulator. Output includes a graph of f of x and g of x when these functions are being tabulated in the table app. If bivariate data is being analysed in the statistics app, then the sticky output is a table of data, a scatter plot, and regression analysis information. Other types of output are generated depending on which app is being used and exactly what has been entered. Next time you are using the FX 8200 emulator in classpad.net, click on the sticky output icon to see what other mathematical results this powerful piece of software has in store for you.